Well, Raptors fans, we have our first official piece of solidified, concrete, free agent news. And I think it's one that we saw coming for the most part. Yak Pirtle is staying in Toronto. It's JJ Buckets. I'm going to do a brief conversation on it. It's probably going to be a little bit more akin to, you know, the video that I did for Grady Dick when he got drafted. Just a quick reaction. So like the video you know the drill of that subscribe to the channel if you're new here if you plan on betting on sports check out my link in the description below other than that let's get on with it so Jakob Pertl has officially inked a deal with the Toronto Raptors the deal is going to be four years 80 million dollars and I believe uh, Woj said as well that the last year of the deal is going to be a player option so yeah Jakob can opt out if you want to <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, as far as the actual deal goes, it's a solid, it's a solid deal. It's a solid deal for Toronto, I think for the most part, it's good value. Uh, like, for Jakob and who he is as a player, I think, you know, 20 million per, more or less, as an annual average is more than fine. I think that's a good value for the contract. And just in general, obviously, I'm excited for the most part to have him back. Um, in terms of Jakob Pertl, we know there was the big, and this is the thing I talk about with Jakob all the time, right? But like there was the investment at the trade deadline. So if you lost him for nothing here, it would have been damn embarrassing. So happy that that situation doesn't have to exist. <laughs> Otherwise, oh boy, that would have looked bad. <laughs> but yeah, Pirtle is here for the near future. He's probably going to be the starter at center for the foreseeable future for Toronto, which again, I think is fine. I think he's a good defensive anchor at that spot he's a good rebounder as well and offensively you know both in terms of being a pick and roll partner and in terms of you know a little bit of passing skill as well i think Jakob is a good fit with the team there and it makes me reasonably excited um you know just having him here moving forward again just not constantly worrying about that center position as raptors fans have over the past couple of years is nice it's nice to have a long-term answer there so to speak so it's a good deal. <laughs> it's a very good deal. Now, obviously, this isn't the last that we're going to hear of Toronto. The big one is naturally going to be the Fred Van Vliet situation and what happens there. Reportedly, uh, the two camps in terms of uh, Fred, sorry, I guess three camps technically in terms of Fred's camp, uh, the Houston Rockets camp and the Raptors camp are going to be meeting in L.A. to discuss Fred's future. So depending on that, you know, hit uh, Jakob's number one uh, pick and roll partner from last season, at least on the Raptors, may or may not be back. And depending on what kind of unfolds there and where the pieces fall from there on out, it's going to be an interesting off season. But I think the one thing that Raptors fans really want to see, especially amongst the free agents of the three guys that you could have potentially had out there, obviously with Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., and Jakob Pertl. I think the one piece amongst the three that you were really, really banking on returning and really hoping would return would be Jakob. Now it's official, and Raptors don't have to worry about that. Actually, quite frankly, you know, they've pinned down Jakob, they've pinned down Gary Trent Jr., they've gotten at least two other three own free agents, which you could argue is a successful successful offseason <laughs> just on that alone uh, but yeah it'll be interesting where the direction of this team goes from here now I believe there was talk out of ya Jakob Pertl's camp earlier that he didn't want to be in a rebuilding situation so it's interesting to me that you know with Jakob coming back to the Raptors and with it being announced so quickly does this kind of push you to the idea that you know the Raptors do want to at least some extent run it back officially officially like again I know they've come out and to some extent Bobby and Masai have said it and like listen when it comes to the media and stuff like that like you're gonna put on that stuff for the media right like you're gonna say that kind of stuff and obviously no big pieces have moved around when it comes to Toronto's core so to some extent I think the longer this process goes on the more I guess the gear shifts to a running back scenario, it'll just at this point be a matter of whether or not they do that with Fred Van Vliet, quite frankly, because all the other pieces have fallen into place. I would expect the Raptors to bring in a mid-level guy as well during this offseason, and if you haven't already done it already, wow, that 
excuse me, that sounded weird, but you know what I mean. If you haven't done it already, go check out my last video where I talked about some mid-level guys that I think would be great for this team. Other than that, yeah, well, this is the start to the uh, offseason officially for the Raptors. Again, first piece of concrete news, Jakob Pertl is back on the team. Yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, pretty much been me for the day. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you haven't done so already, just like the video. It helps the algorithm out a ton. It takes like a second. So, thank you. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, folks, it's been JJ Buckets. It's been a pleasure. I will see everybody next time.